We have $10 from JD139. I really love all this feedback from the programmers. Their reactions to the run show just how difficult many of these tricks are. But since most of the time, runner on, or the runner or the couch are used to seeing that level of mastery. Keep up the awesome runs. I want to take the opportunity to thank Humble Bundle, one of our sponsors. Humble Bundle offers pay-what-you-want bundles that support charities. Uh, they offer bundles for video games, mobile, ebooks, comics, and they have the Humble Store as well. They've raised over $61 million for charities such as Doctors Without Borders and many more. Uh, you can visit them on their website, www.humblebundle.com. Now, since we did just watch this awesome Shovel Knight run, some of you might be thinking out there in the audience and at home, Raptor, I like Shovel Knight. How can I get my hands on such an awesome game? Well, good question. Humble Bundle has it in their Humble Store, and uh, they have it on sale for the, uh, for the GDQ event, along with a whole bunch of other games, so check it out. You go to HumbleBundle.com, click on the Humble Store, and then click on the SGDQ banner. I bought it, you guys should too. A $60 donation from Salsa Shark. I like that one. I've been watching GDQ Marathon since I found the videos on YouTube in 2013. Video games have been a major part in my life since I have been in and out of hospitals my whole life, and seeing them broken like this brings a smile to my face. Thank you for doing this. So coming up is Rockman 3 Burst Chaser being run by Iceplug. So stay tuned for that. That should be really good. We have $100 from Dr. Crane. I just want to say thank you. Thanks to those who practiced for these events. Thanks to those who organized this experience. Thanks to those who choose to help in any way they can. I wish you the best of fortune in all current and future endeavors. Thank you. With that said, kill the animals and save the frames. Thank you for that donation, Dr. Crane. All right, we have $50 from Dexter. Hey guys, shout outs to the Mega Man crew. Won't be able to watch, but I wish you all good luck. Good show so far. Big shout out to the crew. Regards, Dexter. $60 from Dale D. Had to donate during one of my favorite games. The GDQ events provide days of entertainment for me, so of course I should give to the cause. So we've got $100 from Samichu. Hi, Samichu from Games Done Quick staff here. I lost a bet with our cool Doctors Without Borders rep Jason regarding whether wake-up calls cost money here or not, so here's my donation. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, Samichu. have $30 from PH Denix. Nice. Hey there. Great to have devs on hey, great to have the devs on talking about Shovel Knight. Interesting stuff. Keep up the good work to all the runners. $35 from Elian. Hi from France. I discovered GDQ last winter and promised myself I would donate if I could afford it. Good luck with all the runs and thank you for hosting such a cool event. Keep up the good work. Thank you guys for all your donations.
we're about to get started with the next run in just a second. But before then, we're going to play a quick video about getting yourself speedrunning with Speedruns Live. Welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2015. Coming up next, Rockman 3 Burst Chaser, run by Iceplug. Good luck on the run, Iceplug. Got a $20 donation from Calder. Bonus donation for the awesome Shovel Knight Reverse Zip Glitch. Got $10 from Anonymous. My first official SGDQ donation, not counting the $3 from the shirt I bought from the Yeti. My brother and I attended AGDQ in DC this past January and had a great time. Looking forward to the Mega Man block. Thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. That Shovel Knight run was fantastic, says Raichu with a $20 donation. I thought I would donate towards Hyrule Super Mario Sunshine, but it seems to have been met. Hype! put this towards the Luigi's Mansion race. Definitely a good choice for a backup there. Got $30 from Luke Reinhardt. Gotta love GDQ. Shout out to the tech crew. This has been the best event yet. Donation goes to the Bionic Commando 2 re or Rearmed 2, 100% run, even though we all know jumping isn't canon. got an anonymous $55 donation. Cool to see Burst Chaser. Let's make sure to get it on the record that BCAS owns. $30 from It's McDoodly. Good luck to all SGDQ runners, staff, and all others involved. I love what you guys are doing. Keep it up, folks. $15 from Thunder Scott. Shovel Knight was incredible, and I'm super stoked for this Mega Man Classic lock. As you should be. So who else out here is stoked for this Mega Man block, huh? Yeah? Oh, come on. Really? Who's stoked out here? Say something. Woo! You're killing me, guys. You're killing me. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh. Ooh, I can't kick with this. All right. <laughs> Is that All right. Ready? 
Alright, I'm ready. Alright. Hope you're ready for an exciting run. This run's gonna be so exciting. You're not gonna be two inches from the seat of your you're not gonna be two inches from your seat. You're not gonna be one inch from the edge of your seat. You're not gonna be zero inches from the edge of your seat. You are gonna be five inches beyond the edge of your seat. Are you ready for this? Dude, Get I'm ready. ready. Let's go. Are you? Let's go, Ice Plug. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I had, the foot, I had to hit the foot pedal for you. <laughs> All right, so welcome to Rockman 3 Burst Chaser. You're going to very quickly notice that this game is not the Mega Man game you're familiar with. Uh, this is a ROM hack made by Suki Kuro. Uh, it was released in August of 2013. He's also done a wide variety of really cool hacks. But uh, this one in particular uh, takes Mega Man 3 and makes everything faster and more intricate. So, uh, you'll notice that Ice Plug is able to shoot bullets way faster than you're supposed to. And he can also jump out of a slide at any time, which is different than vanilla Mega Man 3. Because in original Mega Man 3, you have to wait 8 frames. And yeah, these screens are all incredibly brutal, so deaths are more than likely, but you'll see incredible execution on Ice Plug's part. So yeah, in uh, original Mega Man 3, you have to slide for 8 frames and then jump, but in this version, that is completely removed, so you can slide at any time. And on top of that, your slide is long and really fast. Hey, this guy again. Nice proto-kill. Thanks. Uh, we go Spark first, because he's one of the simpler bosses to kill with the Buster, and then his weapon is very useful on Hard Man, so we'll go there next. He takes, uh, Spark Man takes, I believe, 14 hits along those yep, lines. 14 hits. Uh, to kill with the Buster, so... And, uh, invincibility frames, or iframes, on Robot Masters in this game is a little different than it is in other Mega Man games. It's a bit faster, so you've got less cap on how quickly you can mash. Oh, you want to stay over there, huh? Yeah, so this boss is really luck-based as to where he wants to stop. He can stop in one of three positions. Well, that was a good kill. And he's dead center. Boosh! Also, uh, another trait of the ROM hacking community for Mega Man is they swap all the music with tons of stuff from other NES games and 8-bit tracks. And you'll also notice that the palettes are switched as well. It's a really cool concept. So, uh, jumping out of a left direction slide is actually a bit trickier than a right direction slide. And yeah, that parachute guy is... He'll either go high or go low. It's pretty random, and you sort of just have to read and react. And Ice Plug does a really difficult strat on this screen where he kills all the parachute guys as they're coming down. So you'll also notice in a lot of places he's shooting and then sliding immediately afterwards. You can't- oh, actually I should talk about this. Uh, the magnet enemies in this game uh, extend vertically in both ways, so you can actually use the, that to your advantage to go upwards or downwards. So by holding A you can just go across the top of the screen. <sighs> he picked up a 1-up though. I, yeah, I did. So it's just so like nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. That death is not too costly. Probably only about 25 seconds, maybe less. And again, like I said, deaths are 
totally expected in speedruns of this game. It is really brutal and really fast. If you're interested in playing this game, you can find uh, the ROMs for it. Ooh, ROMs. Uh, online. Uh, Iceblog and I are currently the only two runners, but that'd be cool if that changed to more, because this speedrun is really fun and really awesome. Nice Two cycle. Yeah, time for a donation real quick. It's a good one. Sure. Got $200 from Joka. Oh, nice. Oh, thanks, Joka. It's time for the classic Mega Man block, the best part of any marathon. Good luck to Ice Plug, The Siege, Chelney, Almond City, Tonic, and Crab Puncher. Tell Chelney he better skip the refights. <laughs> so the hard knuckle in this game is very similar to how it is in regular Mega Man 3. Uh, you are able to move its direction vertically uh, with up and down on the D-pad while you're moving, and he can use this to kill enemies right once they spawn, like just then. So you can use this tech to get rid of enemies and traverse screens a lot quicker. Uh, Spark is sort of your Metal Blade-esque weapon that you'll be seeing a lot. There are a lot of those weapons in this game, actually, because they're all so fast. But uh, Spark is really powerful. This is one of my personal favorite screens up here. Ooh, almost got trashed. I was almost completely wasted there. I'd say Magnet Man is probably one of the most challenging bosses in this game, especially for a speedrun. His weakness is Hard Knuckle, and you've sort of got it. Well, I guess Ice Plug's got it down to a science here. Never mind, that was pretty awesome. Classic <laughs> Probably got time for another donation. Yep. All right. Got fifteen dollars from Yuki42. I've never heard of Rockman Burst Chaser, but already I'm seeing some amazing gameplay. I just had to donate in honor of Ice Plug's mega skill level. Thank you, Yuki. Ice Plug, how fast is this needle? Uh, the uh, the dragonfly screen. How fast is it going to be? Uh. Extremely fast. <laughs> We've got thirty dollars, thirty dollars from Sarumani. Castlevania and Shovel Knight were awesome, and now we get Mega Man. Best lineup this week. Oh, I got stabbed. $50 from Anonymous. Ah, the Mega Man block. Always been a highlight for me. I look forward to watching the runs both live and for years to come thanks to VODs. Good luck to the runners. Uh, you'll see in some hacks that like some of the weapons will be changed in some of their ways, and they are in this game as well, but Magnet works exactly how it works in regular Mega Man 3. It's just faster. Nice kill. Needleman is probably one of the most random uh, of the eight bosses in this game, so it's entirely likely that you run out of Magnet and have to bust her him anyway, but yeah, no sweat. You and I both know what's about to happen. Go Victory. for the fast strats. <laughs> you got this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that screen is incredibly hard. It's stupid. The tops are just... It's awful.
at $50 from Dark Spectre 235. Fight for everlasting peace, SGDQ. Thank you for all the hard work from, from the crew and excellent runners. Let's get to $1 million. I agree, let's do it. Get your donations in. Thanks, Dark Spectre. So there's a lot of weapon switching you're going to see. You'll probably rarely see the Buster uh, for very long in any stage, just because since every weapon is so quick and they're usually pretty powerful, that it's almost... It's usually faster to be using a Robot Master weapon rather than the Buster. Ah, still a nice three cycle. Gemini Man is, it's, I would say it's a little easier tech-wise than it is in, uh, if you start Gemini first in regular Mega Man 3, but in this game there's a lot of really precise placement of weapons and very strict use of Rush Jet. Got $85 from Trek. Greetings from a bunch of budding Dr. Lights in the Terrestrial Robotics Engineering and Controls Lab at Virginia Tech. We've been watching all week and can't wait to see the Mega Man run. We love the charity and stand in awe of the skills on display. Thanks to everyone involved in making such a great event possible. Very nice. $15 from Roulette. The second Mega Man block begins. I'm so hyped. Let's go to $1 million. So, Gemini Man is weak to the top weapon, but if you collide with him and take damage and then use the top weapon, you'll hit him a lot of times, but you'll also run out of it very quickly. And in that case, like what just happened, it does a ton of damage, but you can switch quickly to Buster. That was like half of the power ground slide thingy. I could have got the full one, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, the there's a TAS for this game that is honestly where I think, I don't know, I learned most of my strats from watching that, which is same. It's a really cool task if you're ever in the mood to watch some crazy gameplay, even crazier than this. But they go for some insane stuff, obviously. Hey, you got the five frames. Five frames. It's five. It's not five. It's five. <laughs> it's not five, five frames is not five frames. Ah. I call it five frames because it's five frames in the original Mega Man 3, but it's the same type of jump except it's a smaller window because you're moving faster. Right, with the new sliding mechanic, it's, you've got a lot, it's a lot easier. But you're also moving faster, so you just gotta react faster. That's a really cool magnet strat, I've not seen that. Shadow Man will either jump low, jump high, or slide. And that was a really good read, he didn't miss any lasers. And to do that fight optimally, which what Iceplug just did was pretty much it, uh, you've got to just sort of guess almost if you want to do it really fast. Because if you miss, the laser will bounce off the walls every which way. Waste a couple seconds. Shoutouts to Fast Nadua lasers. Yeah, man. This is my favorite stage in the game. The use of Gemini is really cool because this is such a fast weapon. And it's also really powerful.
We have a $100 anonymous donation. Was that some Chocobo song I heard there? Yes, sir, anonymous it was. Thank you for the $100 donation. Oh, I got hammered. You got hammered, man. You were getting on me for, for, for doing that the other day. Sorry. Ready for it? Yeah, man. Go for it. You got this. I did it! It's not over. It's not over. All right, it's over. <laughs> that jump is insane. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's either frame perfect or there's maybe two frames. Yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, you can tell how good it was based on just the ice plug going back. So now we move on to the Doc Robot stages, which is where we'll refight Mega Man 2 bosses. And their patterns are also changed from what you're used to in Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3. We got $50 from Duckfist. Hey, Duckfist, how are you? Duckfist here. Shout outs to the classic Mega Man crew. Sorry I couldn't be there to support you. Good luck and have fun to all the runners. I'll see you at the next event. Thanks, Duckfist. So the Doc Robot stages, much akin to how they are in Mega Man 3, are really difficult. Much more difficult than they are in uh, when you go to the regular stage at the beginning of the game. So, and you've got to fight two bosses, so everything is increased difficulty. Very nice. That was really fast. Magnet time. Ooh, this. This screen. <laughs> there we go. That was really impressive. Oh, whatever, he gets to live. Airman is just as much of a troll in this game as he is in every single other game he's in. But that went really well. You really just hold down B and hope for the best. Because uh, Needle fires automatically in a pattern. I, what is a pattern? It's uh, so a pattern is four different heights oscillating up top to bottom. So you can sort of predict what's happening if you hold B at different times. But uh, you sort of just got to get lucky with Airman. Quick kill. Yeah. We'll be seeing another one of those in a second. Oh, he stayed alive. All right. Not Why anymore. didn't that kill him? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> I have a $20 donation from Wally Aldo 59 Ooh, hey Wally. Want to give a shout out to all my Mega Man boys. Hope all your runs go great today. Oh, wow. Sex Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what it's called. <laughs> hey, man. It's all good. <laughs> Really, the only strat there is you have to delay, because if you hit any of those enemies, there's, like, more than a 75% chance that they'll hit you down onto the spikes. This is a really brutal fight. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> if you get even a little too close to him, he'll jump over to the other side, and he's basically unapproachable at that point when he's in the air. Uh, an interesting thing about this game is on this stage, Rush Marine never runs out of ammo in order for you to traverse the entire first half of the stage. So, it's nice because you don't have to go searching for any ammo or anything. But that doesn't make this section any easier. There are enemies all over the place. Once you figure out the needle patterns here, you can actually pretty quickly discern that this part you can just keep holding forward and just put in the right inputs up and down. $30 donation from Agro Craig. First time seeing Burst Chaser. Awesome run with great commentary, too. Perfect start to a great night of top level Mega Man play for a great cause. Keep up the awesome work and let's put this towards the Tazbot Mega Man glitch run. Oh, health drop. So now we get to see use of the uh, top weapon again, this time on Woodman. You can actually just go through his shield and take him out that fast. This is probably the most brutal of the Doc Robot stages. The enemies are just coming down uh, all over you. It's really terrible. But Icebuck cleaned it up really, really well there with the Shadow Blade. You have to angle those shots uh, while moving, so not easy at all. This upcoming part has got a lot of pits and dragonflies that just... Nightmares. We have a $10 donation from RJ Polonia. Had to miss the Mega Man X block, but there was no way I was going to miss this block. Put this $10 towards playing as Forte and Rockman and Forte because shut up. Yeah! Quick Man is super easy in this one. Shut him up for all the trouble he caused us in previous Mega Man games. <laughs> this Magnet Strat on Break Man is really interesting because they don't really seek to him. You just have to time him. That was incredible. I mean, that was really, really fast. You can also use the Buster, but that takes ungodly mashing to do it that fast. Got nice Mega Man 9 music here. And that's really the only time you'll see Rush Coil, but it is really, really useful in that one section. This particular screen doesn't really have any super fast strategies, you sort of just have to go and hope for the best.
Yeah, sometimes the needle just won't hit the item, or the enemy, rather, that you're trying to hit, and you sort of just have to wait. Like that. You just sort of have to get lucky. Wow, really nice. These turtles are so quick. As I'm sure you can see. That's probably the hardest boss in the entire game. Yeah, they turtles. do a ton of damage. Uh, this stage, uh, Wily 2 has our friend the purple devil, I suppose. Uh, Fuchsia devil. Fuchsia devil. Uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> but the quick kill on him is really cool, so uh, stay tuned for that. I have a $50 donation from Lowell. I watched AGDQ 2015 as my first speedrun event ever, and it was awesome. Keep up the good work and kill those animals. Spark is powerful, but... I think it's possible to get him in one cycle. Yep. But uh, it's got to take a lot of really fast jumps and shooting. You've got to shoot two shots just at the height of uh, the arc of your jump multiple times in succession uh, to do that. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> What's he doing? He keeps going away. I didn't feed him. Ah. That would make sense. <laughs> we'll take that one slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I would too. You can slide on those opening platforms, but it's way tighter than a regular block slide. Oh, another one up. Yeah. So we have the sort of triple copy robot like in the other Mega Man game. Hard Knuckle not only allows us to hit ones we're not on, but you can also quick kill him super fast when he is on the exact platform you're on. Because the hard knuckle disappears immediately and you can shoot it again in rapid succession. And we pick up these ammo drops simply because the refights are coming up and we need as much as we can get. If you get the one cyclone Fuchsia Devil, you won't have to pick up ammo. You'll have just enough spark to kill to uh, hard man again. But I didn't get it, so... Getting, ref getting refills. Hardman's terrain is a little different than it was when you first saw him, so the kill is marginally different. We got $50 from Nadua. Hey, Nadua. Just wanted to tell Iceplug that I've never missed a fast laser in my life. <laughs> Good luck to all the Mega Man runners. Nadua, what a guy. Wow, that slide over there was really cool. That one was not. <laughs> Sliding out of the teleporters is harder than you'd expect. They're weird platforms because they have to have the properties to allow you to teleport and spawn on them. 
and then you have to land on the single tile ladder. Nice kill, wow. Rip all my top. <laughs> yeah, I would just Buster Gemini. So the refight stage doesn't have a boss, but there are plenty of bosses coming up, so don't worry about it. This kill is similar to how it is in Mega Man 3. Um, just a little... A lot more bullets. Yeah. I would clap for that. That was really, really fast. I'm a bit low on shadow, so I need to refill here. There's a screen at the end of this stage that is weird because I guess it's supposed to be cinematic, but in reality it just creates a lot of lag for no reason because there's no obstacles in it. It's simply there to, like, be a lot of enemies. Uh, it's right here. No reason. Alright, this kill is really cool. And then he's gonna shadow this last part. That's time! <laughs> nice. You beat my PB. I think. 32 flat. That's pretty fast. Is that your PB? I have no idea. Oh. Well, 32 is pretty good. It's, uh, four deaths, I believe? Yeah, we but don't you, talk about that. Yeah. That was great. Even with us, that run fantastic. Like, was incredible. This game is not executionally easy. So, so I've played this game it. since uh, about the beginning of last year, about February 2014. Um, I really liked it. Uh, it's made by Suki Kuro. He's got... Uh, I believe five hacks out. It's this one, Burst Chaser, Rockman 1, 2, and 3 Claw, uh, and Burst Chaser Air Sliding, which combines air, uh, adds air sliding to this insane speed, which makes it an insane speed run. You'll be like a foot from the edge of your seat from watching that one. <laughs> um, but I want to give shout outs to a uh, guy who got me into this game. His name is Kwasekwix, and uh, he has great videos on YouTube of a lot of good ROM hacks, uh, including this one. So um, when you're feeling bored on a Monday night or something, give him a watch. And uh, that's all I got. First chaser out. Awesome. I hope you had fun. Thanks for that amazing run, Ice Pug. Uh, just a few donations to go through here, maybe. Got a $55 donation from Anonymous. A Mega Man X block and a Mega Man Classic block? You're spoiling us. Got $20 from Jean Knott. I won't be able to watch the Mega Man block, but hi to all the runners I know, and good luck to all of them. 